now I feel good. Yeah, I know, Mark. Yeah, it's going to give you I a soft up full high. Thanks. Mark who? Harris. Stop oh. by. Real quick. I, I'm going to give him 10 minutes. He's walking around. He's going to look good on TV tonight. <laughs> He's walking around with full bandages from his facelift. He just got that done. <clears throat> yeah. Mark Harris is the guy who married that the, the Martha Ray. She's a real old woman who's had, like, strokes and her legs removed and stuff. And he married her. And seems to constantly be jetting around the country. I don't know when he ever sees his wife. I don't know either, but he sent us a tape the other day of himself getting a facelift. The actual operation, the doctor allowed a camera in there. It's amazing. Oh, and now, with no shame, he walks around no. with bandages on his face. Look at that. But why are they calling me Jose Iber? Robin, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you could say hello. Look, when it comes off, this is what I'm going to look like. A Let's picture see. of me ten years ago. Wow. Well, first yeah, of all, he well. didn't need a facelift. And yes, now he I looks... did the before pictures, Howard, please. Yeah, please, nothing. You what? look fine. You were fine. You were just fat. You got a double chin. Yeah, well, they sucked that out, too. Really? Got the fat sucked out of me. Diet would have worked. Yeah, couldn't you stop eating you for know, a second? Tell... <laughs> look at this. <laughs> you look really good. Oh, good. And that hat has a ponytail now, on it. Yeah. You know, I want to tell you, that's a scoop. It's Martha Ray's hat. So here, they, they now say that I'm wearing her clothing. Okay. All right, anyway, here's the point. Mark Harris is a guy who married a woman who was like 70-something years old when he married her. And did comedy when it was funny. And she was like three quarters dead because she was really in bad shape. Yeah. She no, had stroked out. Yeah, but she wasn't three quarters dead, truthfully. Well, no. come on, her body was pretty well shot. On one side, she was okay. She spoke yeah, that's directly. That's three quarters everything. of her, her mind, body. Everything was fine. No, no, no. Now it's a sad story. So why I, are you with her? Why are you busy getting facelifts? Yeah, why, why does she care what you look like? Have, yeah, does she really care if you look I good? I have to go to work. You're missing the point. She's lost more than half of her estate. Right. Oh, so and, now you're and, admitting you were getting money from her. No, but uh, she's going to live. What am I going to do, leave her? I told you I wouldn't. Okay. And so I'm going on a tour. Right. Uh, okay, I'm opening here <laughs> August 4th, 5th and 6th. It's Shea Josephine's. And then the Omni Hotel in Washington, D.C. Uh, how much money can you Do you get the money from the door? Is from that how the door work? in uh, Do you Washington. get paid in advance? No. No, so you'll be at Shea Josephine. Shea Joseph. Does that Joseph sound? You wouldn't know who Josephine Baker was. Only a gay guy would play Shea Josephine. It's a Josephine. straight play. No, I don't oh. say. I don't oh, say. Oh, okay. I know it's uh, straight, but oh, yeah. only a gay guy would play something called Shea gay Josephine. Guy, right. Well, that's gay guy's well, that's places. where he went. He just was drawn there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a great place. I'm playing Shea Josephine. You too, huh? <laughs> so anyway, he's touring and he's got bandages on from he his face like lift. Victim. Yeah. Well, I'm married to Martha Ray. You know, she nursed the wounded. But I did my rehearsal for her the other day, and it brought a smile to her face, and that's worth it all. Okay, so you, so he went out and got a facelift, which he didn't need. He's, he... Will the bandages be off by the time you perform? Well, let's put it this way. I'm opening my own clothing company here, and Friday I'm exposing some of the, the wares. You know, it's called Both Ways Clothing Company. And uh -oh. so on Herald Square... <laughs> because you go both ways? Consider that fact, but not lately. Look at me. Right. Do you know what trauma was done when they sucked out that fat? Yeah, Seriously. but he sends us a video of the doctor yeah. sucking the fat out of his face and cutting off his whole Ooh, face. Cutting around his ear. And we're saying, why did he say, he goes, this tape is available to air on E. <laughs> yeah, tell yeah. it, tell it. All right, maybe we'll show it on the E show tonight, <laughs> his operation. They've, but they've already taken it. Yeah, good. Here's... Howard, here's a Mark song that uh, was commissioned by the Republican Party. Yeah, now what is this? Now, okay. first of all, so let me just, just for those of you who are tuning in for the first time on Mark Harris. Yes, inform so them. So he marries Martha Ray, who like oh. a long time ago was a movie star. And a and, television and comedian. And a television yeah. comedian. And radio. She did everything. And radio and Broadway. And Mark, Hello, like a lot, of, a lot of gay men. Gay men, okay. It, well, bisexual. Well, that's the I could care. All right. I don't, I don't, Calm down. I Mark, like a lot <laughs> of gay guys. I lost my guys. pianist. He's at another terminal someplace. You lost your pianist? Pianist. He's oh. at another terminal. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what he's talking about. Doesn't matter. I brought, talking about? I brought the tracks. I brought the tracks. Okay. 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 Hey, <laughs> smell them out. <laughs> so, like a lot of gay guys, he's really into a certain era. Yeah, they're into the 30s and 40s when Hollywood was really glamorous. He just said Martha Ray did comedy when it was funny. Right. Yeah. Boy, you're shocked, Robert. <laughs> yeah, gay guys all think life was better in the 30s yes. and 40s. Meanwhile, every one of them was in the closet. And they couldn't come out. Right. Well, I'm claustrophobic, so we got a problem with that. If you had said you were bisexual in the 30s or 40s, you would have been finished. Right. But so, I wasn't here. You know, I, I'm looking at yeah, Mark right, Harris. Right. He's too funny today. I want to put no, no, you, no, I'm not. I want to put you in a movie called The Gay Mummy. <laughs> now he is coming after me. And you, too. Let us yank it for him. The 
Republican Party contacted you to write a song about President Clinton? They heard the song I wrote for you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this one. Not this one. No. Another one. But go with this one. Okay. Oh, no. This is the president. Dear he got president the wrong one. Clinton. He has the wrong one. I did write this song for you. You're going to roll that's the wrong on one. On behalf the right of Martha the Ray. Wrong. I know we had our problems. I really don't know why. The medal wasn't tuna. You didn't try. <laughs> <laughs> but I enjoy D.C. And that's a very special Stop memory. Stop it for a second. Let me ask you something. You e listen. You've made, you cut off the E.E. Oh, e. Give him the E.E. Memory. Go ahead. Plug it. E Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Let's, let's show You him. are our leader. <laughs> and yes, you have some power. But no more. Jennifer Flower. All right, all right, turn this over a second. Yeah. Wait a second. You listen to this and you feel that this is good. Yes, I feel it's good. You do. do, you, yeah. do where would you rate yourself as a singer and Are performer? you uh, a Whitney Houston? No, I'm the beautiful Mark Russell. No, really. No, where are you? No, no where are you on a scale of one to ten? Are you are you a five? Are you an eight? Are you a nine? What are you? Sir, be honest. I don't take my singing seriously, and you, you shouldn't either. Oh, you don't? No. No, he's no. saying he's a comedian. I, no, I'm not. Well, are you said Mark Russell. Yeah, okay, you call him a comedian? He's what do just, you call him? He's just telling the truth, too. Let me ask you, me. is it possible to get throat surgery next? Uh, All right, okay. you have three songs here. Howard Stern campaign song. That's it. Right. That's the one just for you. That's not the Republican Party. The one I'll sing live will be that. Oh, the one you're going to oh, sing, sing live? you're going to sing live? All right, we'd, we'd like to hear you sing live first. Would you mind? No, okay, put the tracks on. All right, put it on right I now. don't get to hear now, what he based this on. Would well, you like some echo? Wait, no, no, no. This song was written... No, you guys, don't try anything to make him sound better. <laughs> you guys throw balls of paper at Mark while he sings. <laughs> no, no, serious. I mean, All if right. you're going to listen to the you words... You should get used to it, though. If you're going to perform live, people might... Oh, I don't care stuff. about... They'll All throw right. a tomato at NATO if he stays in the office. But I want to tell you, the first part of this song, a la Yankee Doodle Dandy, was written by a great comedy writer. <laughs> yeah, so dumb. But then it got to work in. Stop yeah, throwing yeah, papers. Serious. Don't do that, <laughs> Jack. Alan Byrne. Yes. Very good comedy writer. He wrote the Cuomo part, and then I go into my Albany part. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm singing man. with a strap. All right, here we go. Now, put it up loud. Cuomo is a namby-pamby. He's an uptight kind of guy. <laughs> it's good New York and it's economy. Now he is coming after me. And you too. Let us yank it for him, sweetheart. That could what be... What is he singing about? I don't know. Oh, you see, you should have went for it. It's very funny. What is he, what is he singing about? I'm trying We're to figure out We're never going to get to the lyrics. Albany part. I have Cuomo? no... Is, well, he said Bomo or something when he started. Well, I'm wearing a chin strap. Do you want to finish this? <laughs> all right, all right, we'll continue. I tell you, you put the hoe in homo. <laughs> I tell you, okay, man. Okay, go ahead, go all ahead. Right, here we go. But the Albany part, leave alone. <laughs> Namby Pamby went to Albany just to ruin the city. Homo, that Namby Pamby guy. Now, quiet. <laughs> Albany. <laughs> Give us back Albany. <laughs> Can't you see? Oh, yeah, better there. off. Jackie, Jackie's throwing papers at Mark, and Mark is shooting him daggers. You want to hear these lyrics or not? Of course we do. <laughs> Jackie takes a ball of paper and hits Mark in the face. With a ball so this of is paper. just gonna go ahead. This is Boardville. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 dumb, dumb, dumb. Go ahead. Without Cuomo, <laughs> give us our state and New York City. City. <laughs> give us Albany. Albany. It's a <laughs> Walmart's goodbye leaves us no teary eyes. <laughs> and all you guys in the Democratic Party. <laughs> well, there are things flying at Mark like you never saw. God almighty. <laughs> wow.
<laughs> That's some, uh... That's some song. <laughs> Who'd you write that for? <laughs> well, Jackie just blew about. an airplane it did, Mark. <laughs> Oh, and it wasn't a paper airplane. Thank God it wasn't a DC chair. You didn't see he threw a whole news (laughs) (laughs) Well, whatever keeps him laughing. Democratic party. Party, party. Party. (laughs) You're gonna listen to Stern. Cause you're gonna learn that crime. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, what were those styrofoam cups? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right. It was rained on with styrofoam. Cups. Such a parade. That's what we got to do for Howard. Such a parade. Well, that is some song. And we can see you performing where? Shea Josephine. August. 4th, 5th, 6th. All right. What time? And then Giando's on the 20th of August. And then the Omni Hotel in Washington, D.C. I think it's 13, 14, 15 September. The All Omni right. Hotel. Yeah. All right. Well, there the you go. clothing that's going to get you. And you're coming out with your own clothing line. Mm-hmm. And what will that be called again? Both Ways Clothing Company. Because of your bisexuality? Well, it's because it's uh, just, you know, unisex, they called it an hour. Right, uh, right. Both. Youth years, I oh, I see. All right, both ways. How about oh. Queer Duds? <laughs> queer Duds, I like that now that Calvin gave up jeans. All right. Queer Duds. <laughs> you know, gays always like to point out that they think Calvin Klein is gay. I, I didn't say that. No, that's not how I meant it. I'm sorry about that. That is not what I meant. I just meant there's an open with a better name than, than both ways. How about BV Deviants? <laughs> uh, both ways. Both ways. He means his clothing uh, fits men and women. All right, and you will have... Um, when will the clothing Well, I'm going to come in here Friday with one of my stage costumes, so you'll appreciate that. You know, I feel so bad for this Martha Ray. The the deader she gets, the gayer he gets. <laughs> oh, now I feel good. No, right, there's a lot of goofing going on in here. On Mark. Of course it will. Not this guy. Mark makes Tom Arnold look honorable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I almost said who is Tom Arnold. I know. Yeah. But I you mean, caught he, yourself. He married Roseanne, and I, I knew. I just said another movie star. Uh, I don't think you were in love. With, with Martha Ray when you married her. Oh, you think they learned to love each other? We oh, I don't think they've learned to love each other. I think that <laughs> we, uh, she hasn't learned his name yet. <laughs> we, we, we most definitely are spiritually connected. Is no, that right? No question, no question about it. Mm. Yeah, well, because she's as old as a ghost, so you're spiritually connected. No, it's and not right when soul. a man this young who has obvious feelings for men marries Martha obvious. Ray. I think he was, he was her nurse and she uh, married him. I don't know what happened there. You know, I feel so bad for this Martha Ray. The, the deader she gets, the gayer he gets. <laughs> I mean, it's just he, unbelievable. He came in here straight when he first got he, married. I think, <laughs> I think they, they gave him gay enhancing drugs. Yes. Well, let's, let's put it this way. My act worked. And no, when no, you made love to Martha no, Ray, you, you still stand by your statement that you made love to Martha Ray? The statement and the fact that it happened, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you're saying you went all the way? Yes. Yes. And yeah. I did all the surgery. Was that the last sex that she had with you? Well, I, you know, I'm going to have to ask the nurse. They chart everything. Really? Yeah. So the last man that Martha Ray will have on this planet. I don't know. I'm the one you. flying all over the world. I could get killed. And you were she fully, and you were, and you were fully, uh, you satisfied her completely? Yes. And you were aroused? Yes. Oh, oh you know he was. I didn't have. By a 75-year-old stroke. Uh, uh, I didn't have Ray. penile no, not a surgery. I had face stroke. surgery. I'm sorry, Robin. I can't hear it you over here. not his. a 75-year-old stroke victim to Mark. Right. That you got was that Martha right. Ray. He was having sex with That's Hollywood right. history. She That's is right. smart. Look at her. <laughs> All right. You are. What was he telling you during the commercial? <laughs> about he was my talking genitals. about laying in bed next to Martha Ray. No, what was he telling you? And having ice packs all around his head. Oh, was it, I, oh, no, there was another part that he was telling you about. Which part? The clothing line? Yeah, the clothing line. Yeah, what were you oh, yapping about? he was about? telling you about a coat he has that would be perfect for you. I want to do you your campaign. Mark, Mark is so manic that when we get in commercial, he starts screaming about, you've got to do a ticker tape parade. What are you screaming about? You should do a ticker tape parade. Do you have any common sense? What common, do you mean a ticker tape common parade? No what sense, is a yes. ticker tape parade? For Howard Stern. Get but everybody excited. what is it? Excited. A ticker tape parade We're happens on Betty. Wall Street. No, let's do it here on 7th Avenue in the Garment Center and they'll support you. They should you. throw thread or something. And how do you know what yeah, the Garment Center thing. will support? I spoke to a lot of people. They're all waiting for you, Howard. They're all, I'm opening a show. How many room. people did you speak to? Many. Uh, like I know a, like many. 10? No, I didn't go camping. 50? But I, no. And but you just you and your friends... 
in uh, 1359 Broadway, one yes. of those buildings where they all hang out, and they're all for you. Yes, and you, they, all your friends decide I should have a ticker tape parade. A lot of people I didn't even know. And he's in here seriously going, Howard, you must have a you ticker should. tape parade. And it's like, who am I talking to? I, th tape. I think I'm talking to a wall. <laughs> no, you don't. Do you want to be governor? What? Are you going yeah, to yes, serious Yes, I do it? want to be governor. I believe you. So let's Thank go for you. it. Go for it. <laughs> All right, very good. Mark Harris, congratulations to you on yeah. your marriage to Martha Ray, oh, your exciting you. new yeah, music career, you. your facelift, yeah, thank you. your liposuction, yeah. on your handlebars right. and groin. If ratings go down, I'll have my behind picked up. That's right. right. All right, there he is, the great Mark Harris. <laughs> Mark, how did it go? Well, I, you know something. If I took it seriously, I guess I'd be offended. But, you know, it had to be harder for Liberace. We'll see you tomorrow.